She's an author, an artist, a poet, a vocalist, a wife, and a mother. She's also the CEO of Tawana Williams Outreach. Yeah. Tawana, it's a pleasure to have you. Pleasure to be and here. And you know what? You have a no excuse in life motto. Yes. What does that mean? Well, you know, I was born to a mother that told me there was nothing that I could not do. And I had a Grandma Rogers that said, you must not have needed arms mm. because God didn't give them to you. Mm. Because first of all, the doctors told my mom that I would not live to be two weeks old. I'm 45. They told my mom that I would uh, never walk. I've been walking since the age of two. Mm. Then they told her I'd never have children. And as I said, my daughter April, she's almost 23 years old. And so when God allowed that um, miracle to be placed in my life, I had no other choice. I had to do it. I figured it out. I was born without arms due to the drug thalidomide that was given to my mom in her early trimester of pregnancy. You were actually taught how to use other parts of your body to compensate for the fact that you did not have your arms. Can you share that? Yes, actually I, I was trained as a baby to use my feet as if they were my hands. And you learned how to write? Yes. You learned how to do basically everything anybody can do with their hands. Absolutely. I typed 35, 45 words a minute oh with my, my feet. Unarmed but dangerous. Yes, unarmed but dangerous is my story of relentless struggle and ultimate victory. And in the book I wanted to you know, change lives and let people know that they have the power to be unarmed but dangerous by totally committing themselves to their life, holding themselves accountable for whatever it was that they wanted, um, being willing to do whatever other people weren't willing to do, um, taking action in every area of their lives, uh, never giving up, never quitting. Quitting is not an option uh, for me and my family. No matter then, what. No matter what. And then finally, you got to have absolute faith and believe in yourself when other people don't. That's that's who I am. She said nothing's missing. If you don't have it, then you don't need it. So I'm here to play Grandma Rogers to somebody on this morning to let you know that if you don't have it, guess what? You don't need it. That's right. Everything you need is already in you. It was given to you. What's stopping you from pursuing your happiness? From reaching your dreams? In the last year, everywhere I go, you know, the only thing I hear out of people's mouths is, girl, we sure are in a recession. I'm like, I can't tell. She's <laughs> <laughs> been watching the news so much, that's all we need. Yeah. Recession. Oh, this economy is messed up. Not in my household. Yeah. Not at infinity. Come on. That's right. <laughs> that's right. I would tell them to face their fears head on. Don't quit trying. You know, you got to persevere. I, I've, I've always been a self-motivated, self-driven type of person, so I didn't need other people to motivate me or to push me, but there are people out there that do. So, you know, just find somebody that will help you um, to, to reach your goals. I tell you, you know, once you focus on what you want, everything else comes together.